Hello, my name is Dr. Melissa Middlebrooks. I'm an educational coordinator at Georgia Power. At Georgia Power, we make, move, and sell electricity. Today, we will be talking about the transformation of energy. At Georgia Power, we must find fuel sources that allow us to provide efficient, reliable, and cost-effective electricity to our customers. We transform the natural resources into those natural resources into electricity through a process called the transformation of energy. One scientific law called the law of conservation of energy tells us that we can never make nor destroy energy. Energy. We can only transform it. There are many ways to classify the transformation of energy, but one most basic is potential, which is stored energy, versus kinetic, which is energy in motion. Today, to help demonstrate how potential or stored energy can be transformed into kinetic energy, we're gonna construct catapults. And my son, my youngest son, Jaron, is gonna come and help us. Come on, Jaron. So, what we need to do um, is go over our materials, Jaron. So, the materials we're gonna be using today are popsicle sticks or craft sticks, the large kind. You're gonna need nine of those four rubber bands, a bottle cap, um, water bottles usually tend to work the best, and pom-poms, or you can also use little mini marshmallows. To make the catapults, first we're going to take a bottle cap and glue it to the end of a popsicle stick. Next, we need to collect seven of the craft sticks and stack them together. You only need seven, Jaren. We want to secure those, that stack with two rubber bands on each end, fastened tightly. Keep those stacks held tight. And we're using medium sized rubber bands because with the larger popsicle sticks, they tend to stretch and work a little bit better. And remember, secure them tightly. If this is difficult for you, please make sure you ask your mom or parents to help you. So once we get our stack, got your stack ready, Jaren? All right, our stack of seven and our popsicle stick that has the cap glued to it. What we wanna do is sandwich that stack between those two, making sure your cap popsicle stick is on top. You wanna take a rubber band, we're gonna go over the top and secure the two sticks where they overlap. Got it? Okay, and then with the last rubber band, we're gonna use to pinch here at the end of the two popsicle sticks and we are going to secure that tightly with the last or fourth rubber band. All right, so that should form a closed end here. Once you are sure that your bottle cap is dry, you can put in a pom-pom Awesome. So the tension in the rubber bands on the popsicle sticks is our potential energy. It is stored, it is storing that energy right now. Once we pull back on those rubber bands, it increases that tension and it wants to be released. Once we release it, we see that energy in motion, which is launching that pom-pom into the air. And there you have your model of transformation of energy. Thank you so much, Jaren. A part of our job at, as educational coordinators is to promote energy efficiency and conservation and to teach you how to use energy wisely in your home. 
one great tip that I have for you today is th that relates to our lesson is to remember not to waste energy. We want to make sure we have enough natural resources to provide electricity for years to come. So that means turning out lights and unplugging electrical items that we are not using. The more energy we use, the more resources we're going to need to provide more electricity. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever considered working at Georgia Power? At Georgia Power, we believe that you're never too young to start thinking about your career. Today, I would like to highlight the Auxiliary Equipment Operator, the AEO position, which is an entry level position in the power plant operating department. They are responsible for continuously inspecting, inspecting, monitoring, and troubleshooting our industrial type equipment that is in the power plants. They are to ensure that it is reliable and e working efficiently. Their estimated hourly wages is $23.55 an hour with options of overtime and advanced placement positions. Don't forget to visit our website at www.learningpower.org to watch cool videos and play fun games. You can also download our Learning Power app in your app store. We have enjoyed working with you today on the transformation of energy. We look forward to working with you again soon.